Well, that's it for the wing construction. Now it's time to get to the fuselage. First thing we're going to do is take the fuselage cross brace. Now take your X-Acto knife and you want to cut through the center of each one of these what end up being tabs. like so. Now we'll take the fuselage cross uh, section, put the print on, on top obviously, blue on the bottom of this airplane, slide each tab into the slots, and with this back here, what you want to do is just slightly use your fingers and separate it so that that piece goes in there nice and flush and then release it and it'll pinch it in there. It can be helpful to have a nice long straight edge such as this to help hold everything down nice and flat as you build. Making sure that it is parallel 90 degrees or 90 degrees to the fuselage side with my speed square. include three little sections in the front up to where the wing starts. Now the area where the wing is, I'm not going to glue that at this point. I'm going to go ahead and start my next glue at the trailing edge of the wing and go all the way down to the leading edge of where the elevator will be. Press down slightly to make sure that uh, there's no gap. You don't want to press down here in the back. The furthest back you want to press is before that tab because you can actually bend this piece down and it'll hit, go all the way to the table. There's a slight gap between the table and the, the tab of the rear. Next step is to glue the tri-stock. It goes from the trailing edge of the wing back to the hinge line of the elevator. I'm going to be sure not to cover up any of the wing slot here. Line this guy up before you glue. And I want you to put a, a pencil mark right here so that you don't add any glue to where the elevator is going to mount later. brace on, line up the tabs, the same procedure as we did on the first one, drop glue about every three inches except for where the wing is, we'll, we'll glue that later. Try stuck on the other side. Same thing as before.
time to glue the firewall into place. Simply pops right into the, the slots that are made. You want to eyeball it for good thrust. You don't want any thrust at all. Zero, zero. No up thrust, no right thrust. A little right thrust wouldn't hurt, but I like to do mine zero, zero. And I put the CA in the groove. Only, don't put any glue on this little front tab yet. Just put it on these two side tabs. And I like to spray the balsa or apply firewall with the accelerator. Line up one side first and bring the other one down to it. Hold it. Looks good. Again, another bead of accelerator here, or CA here. It's good. Pull this front part away, drop a little CA down into this one now. Supports, firewall supports. Test fit them first. Flip them around, it doesn't fit real good that way. That one looks real good like that. You may need to sand it just a little bit with your sanding block to get it to fit nice and flush on some occasions. Even this one, I'm going to increase this bevel angle just a touch. Increase the bevel. Nice flush fit. A little bit more. Good. Side. No harm. 